Hello everyone and welcome back. Hold on, let me double check. Make sure I'm actually on. Yeah, I'm not muted this time. We're we're getting professional. We are getting our baby baby streamer steps in. But hello Marshmallow Dragon. Thank you for the raid. I hope you had a great stream. I'm glad you're back in the driver's seat. Princess Lady Bro, I hope you're feeling better. Big Daddy, thanks for stopping by. I hope you guys are excited for more Dragon Age because I'm hyped for more Dragon Age. Um, it's been off for a few weeks. I didn't mean to be off this long. Um, surprisingly enough, I got a uh, like a wound on my mouth, so it made it even more hard for me to talk, which irony upon ironies when I'm supposed to be on here talking to you guys because you know this is my punishment for not talking. I get something where I can't talk. It was hilarious. I, it took me a few days to realize it was there. It was great. But hey, Plastic plastic Ghost, thanks for stopping by. Oh my gosh, this is off to a great evening. You can tell how much I've been talking. But uh, yeah, welcome to Gut Punch RP, where we like to play our tabletop with the dragons and the caves and the whatnot. And uh, we are back from holiday break. However, I am not done with this game yet. We got to finish it. So more dragons in the off time. Um, Laurel Wind will be back next Monday. We'll also have the next episode of Darkness Rising on Friday. And then the following week, I'll be back on Monday, probably Friday, unless somebody else wants to steal the channel. But as of right now, the off weeks, it's mine and they can come and try and steal it. But let's jump into it and go. Um, we're getting to the end of Act 1. We are down to like the achievement and the quest and nailing down our alliance's quest so we can't screw this up which means guess who did not do any homework whatsoever so hopefully we don't have to save and reload some of the stuff we might have to um save a couple different saves to uh make sure we don't uh lose too much but yeah we're, we're hopping in now, but uh, yes, uh, Gut Punch RP, we are a charity tabletop role-playing game that focuses on inclusivity. Uh, I We have a new donation charity set up for prizes. Um, I don't know who our new charity is. I have not been told the secret information, so if anyone knows, feel free to uh, chime that into chat. Um, if not, all donations will be entered in for a raffle for cool prizes at the end of the... Um, Promo period? Time period? It's not a quarter. It's a, the select period of time to win prizes. There we go. Um, but uh, now that talking stuff is officially over, let's get into some dragons! Um, let's see here what we have left. Okay, enemies among us. Promo quarter works. There we go. Yeah, we're just making up the new words. That's right, Kai. Uh, some of the prizes. Some of the prizes. <laughs> I don't know. I have not been told any of the official information that is above my uh, pay grade. So uh, anyone who knows more than me, feel free to chime in. Um, but I just know that the last donation round uh, wrapped up at the end of December and uh, all of us have been off since then. <laughs> okay, we have been doing very good on the Deep Roads expedition with not raising our money because we are going to try and get that payday loan and we want to get the dwarf. Um, Act of Mercy and Enemies Among Us are uh, the big ones. Oh, we still got First Sacrifice. Oh, I forgot about that one. Okay, that one's going to have some good dialogue choices. Hey, no fame pod. Stop. Thanks for stopping by. Um, Herbalist Tass. Okay. Okay. Oh, we got a lot of side quests. We're going to have to figure out who all these things belong to. We got more, more random talking to people unless we want to look those things up. Okay, so it's been a while since we played, which means my um, memory uh, is going to be abysmal. However, Herbalist Tasks, I believe our last one is um, in the Sundermount Mountain, and I think it's there, there's no reputation. I think it's just like a monster, either in a cave or in the woods or something. But it's like the, the way either waves or it's just a bunch of monsters thrown at you. So I think that might be a good one for us to just throw on difficulty and see how quickly we die. <laughs> it might be fun. Um, but let's go ahead and start off. Let's throw some plot on, I guess. And um, let's go with, okay, Enemies Among Us. I actually did a little bit of looking into because that one was a... Um, 
Oh, that is weird, no faint pod. Maybe it's... huh. Was it like your most recent emotes that it was going and it just got very angry? Yeah, Twitch is saying no dabbing punchy. We have done nothing to earn the dabby punchy yet. We have to earn that right. Um, what is... why am I beeping? Oh. Mods are... mods are beeping. That's why. Okay. Um, okay, so how do we do... this is still a rumor. Which is a pretty cool way that they do the plot system where if it's a you have not yet uncovered a quest but you really need the quest or even if it's like hey don't forget about this before you go to a point of no return they put it in the rumors with a couple clues on how to hunt down to start the quest going because their quest system is very much so a things don't unlock until you actually um, organically run into it whether a letter on your desk or Varric or someone tells you about it so Varric's sources say a woman by the name of Matcha has been desperately seeking a particular Templar. She's been spotted outside of the Chantry in Hightown during the day. So let's get our butts to... Oh, this really threw me off. I thought this was um, Gamlin's home for a second. Is it Gamlin's home? If it isn't, it's the exact same model and looks identical. This is... Uh, which is very common in Dragon Age. But you're not supposed to be able to have your party in here. Hey, Paul Sali- Paul- Paul Ali- pa Oh my gosh, I can't do it. That's a tongue twister. Paul I'm- I'm so sorry. I butchered that four times over. But hi, welcome to the show. We're gonna go, um... I don't know if we're gonna get to another dragon today, but we're certainly gonna look for more dragons because we do like our dragons in this. They are. They reuse assets everywhere. And honestly, it's- Probably the smartest thing you can do with not wanting your players to memorize your caves and your tunnels and everything because they're identical but rotated with sections turned on and off, which makes it even more confusing. <laughs> you can't just go, oh, I recognize that tree. This is blah, blah, blah tunnel or blah, blah, blah cave. It's not possible. They all look identical, which is, you know, if you're lost in a cave, they all would look identical to you. You would never be able to find your way out. But yeah, um, we do have a couple mods. I don't think I did any of the graphic ones, because I know, like... Let me see if we can find an example of it. But the emblem of Kirkwall, they just reuse on everything in this game. Like, it's on posters, it's on boxes, it's on people's shields. I know I fixed it so the town guard have actually the town guard shields instead of, like, the Templar ones with it. Um... But yeah, this game is very notorious for using elements and putting it elsewhere. Which, um, they partially do in Inquisition as well, because one of my favorite things about Inquisition was being like, why is there this shield with the Kirkwall symbol in the middle of this, of Red Cliff from the past or whatever? What kind of hawk fuckery ends up here with the shield? <laughs> okay, I think we need to go during the day. Oh, yep, yep, here we go. Making our way uptown. You know, Ravani, you promised me you'd tell me how your ship wrecked. I was drunk. I thought the reefs around the wounded coast were made of candy. Oh, come on. And a demon told me to do it. It bet me 60 sovereigns and a bottle of port. You're not the only one here who can bullshit, you know? That's not going to be relevant later at all. Welcome, merchant. I'm pretty positive we've to sell today, guardsman. My that... shipment's late. Well, good luck to you then. Is that the the Viscount's assistant or whatever? Braun Seneschal Braun or something like that? That looked like him. I mean, once again, it could be reusing the models. Yeah, I think I think this is a mod. I put in maybe because they usually don't have that armor. I think they have like a Templar shield and armor. I do love how I know that they switched the engine for this, but I still love how all the Dragon Age games you can just mod like crazy. Oh, Macha, we found you. Please, can you help me? My brother. What happened to your brother? Karen was always so devout, 
So idealistic. He was so proud when the Templars accepted him. I pleaded with him not to join the Order, but he wouldn't listen. You hear dark rumors about the Templars and Knight Commander Meredith. And now my brother is gone. I do love how you just hear so much shit about Meredith in the first act, but you don't really see her. What do people say about Knight Commander Meredith? Oh, she has many admirers. They lord at the service she does in keeping the mages in check. But others say she is terribly fierce and utterly without pity that she sees demons everywhere. It is dangerous even to whisper such things. A little fuzz, you're right. The uh, matcha does look like she's the base for Sarah um, from Inquisition. What have you heard about the Templars? People harboring escaped mages just disappear. Templars interrogate and threaten passers-by. My friend has a cousin who's a mage, and she says he was made tranquil against his will. You hear more with every passing day. I'm here to help you. Just tell me what you know. Karen would write me every day. Then suddenly, no more letters. I wrote him many times with no response. I tried to see him, but Knight Commander Meredith threw me out. They won't tell me anything. Your brother may indeed be in trouble. What can I do for you? Perchance. In your journeys, if you find yourself in the gallows, ask the other recruits, Wilmard and Hugh, about my brother. They were Karen's closest friends in the Order. If anyone knows where he is, it's them. Make her bless you and watch after you in this endeavor. Thank you, Princess Lady Bro. Alright, anyone else knows that dwarf who kind of just join the party like i'll adopt another dwarf like come back sir what can you do are you a warrior are you just a merchant with some adorable lines to add to the conversation i'm here for it let me add you to the party please find karen good sir i hear terribly what the templars have done to him ah no fame pod that sounds awful i haven't noticed that yet and it does kind of look like Sandal's dad. My first guess was kind of Bertrand, but no, he does look like, um, oh, what is Sandal's dad name? We're gonna have to go hunt him down to go find him. I agreed. Uh, let's start a petition now. Sandal needs to be a party member in uh, Dragon Age Red Wolf, AKA dad. That is forever. How I will always refer to that, that Nick game. It'll get old really quick when it finally drops, but I'm, I'm sticking with it. They knew what they were doing when they picked that acronym. Bodan, there we go. Let's just say hi to Sandal while we're here. Uh, <laughs> don't mind him, Monsieur. Sandal's never been one for conversation. That's okay. We love him anyway. Okay, so we. Oh, I think we gotta... I think we have to actually ask for an enchantment before we start. Let's... What do you need, my good friend? Let's see what your son can do. Enchantment! I feel bad because I don't think I have anything for him to enchant. He was just so excited about it. He does! He gets... Ill. He's so happy. He's so good at it and he knows. He just wants the possibility to uh, cause some chaos. Uh, which one of these is somebody actually? We'll we'll let Carver do a little bit more, a little bit more oomph. There you go, bro. Okay, so we talked too much. Okay, we went from rumors to main plot. It means it's important, so we can't fuck it up. No, we can fuck it up. It just makes the ending a little bit more interesting. Okay, we need to speak with the Templar recruits and the gallows to find out what happened to Karen. Let's 
get the puppy out. Oh, you think this is the introduction to Meredith? Maybe. I don't think she makes an appearance until, like... I think the I think the only snippet we see of her is during the prologue of Act 1, where she walks by dramatically, and then I don't think we see her again until Act 2. I could be wrong. It's been a little bit since I played. And since we are picking um, two Pro Templar choices in this, we may perhaps unlock something I've never seen before, because I do know that um, if you are more agreeable with the Templars, you do get, like, a couple other quests and... Oh, I need to figure out who I'm... I need to make sure who my party is. I have not been paying attention who's in this group. Yep, we need to change party. To Fenris's house! I don't think we get any rep, I just think we get a little bit more dialogue, depending on who we take. Uh, Viscount versus... We probably should have just gone to the Hanged Man, but too late. We're sprinting to Hightown, we're going to Fenris's. I'm trying to pay attention to who's in the group for this, because this is one of the few quests where you get quite a bit of Carver rep, which we are trying to be BFFs with our brother. Okay, I think Anders... BBF. <laughs> Best brothers forever? Okay, I know, like, I think it's Fenris, Carver, and Anders go will unlock something, but I think only one of them will do it each time. So let's go ahead and take Carver. Um. Best siblings forever. There we go. I like that one. Um, let's go ahead and take Varric. He knows what's going on. Oh, we gotta take Isabella. Let's take Isabella with us. We're definitely gonna need to change this party before we go to, like, any sort of combat, but... We're just picking up quests. You look new. I hope they find Karen soon. And Wilmid, of course. <laughs> Okay, clearly there's a favorite. I hope they find Karen soon. And Wilmid, of course. Okay, that was useful. You guys? Hey! Do you know a recruit named Karen? His sister is looking for him. We cannot speak to you, Messer. Probably for the best, sister. To the void with that. Karen and the others are missing. But our orders... The knights aren't doing anything to find them. Maybe it's time to ask for outside help. Yeah. Recruit outside. Carver, Anders, or Fenris will comment. Okay, well, we brought Carver. I wasn't even certain Karen was missing. Who else is gone? The first ones disappeared weeks ago. There's been at least half a dozen. Wilmot and Karen were the most recent. All right, I know she said her brother, but they keep saying Karen, and I'm just imagining, like, you know, divorced, middle-aged mom with the hair cut, you know, flip, and she's wanting to go speak with the manager. I really am not surprised she's gone missing. If she pissed off enough managers. Why must you keep silent about Karen? You obviously aren't a Templar, Messer. And your point is? A Knight Lieutenant gives you an order and you obey, without question. They told us not to breathe a word about Karen and the others. They must have their reasons. And that'll be a great comfort if you go missing next. Oof. Uh, Lil Fuzz, those sound amazing. Uh... Congrats for on your parents for giving you a really awesome gift, because holy shit, those do sound good. Yeah, Prince Ladybro. Like, Karen pissed off the biggest manager. <laughs> this is what we're hunting down right now. <laughs> you can trust me. I'm only trying to keep Karen safe. I hear that Knight Commander Meredith has some new initiation you have to go through. If you're not strong enough or fervent enough in belief, you don't make it out alive. 
Sounds brutal. And effective. And you honestly believe that? Recruits keep going missing. Wilmot came back. What? He did. I saw him this morning. That feels like the prime gossip you give up earlier, especially since she was one of the ones that was worried about the other recruits, right? Oh, old slow tiger breakfast for dinner? Oh, super jealous. Those are the best. What else do you know about the initiation? You hear about some questionable things that the Order must do these days. The Knight Commander only wants Templars that can do what must be done. And draw stay alive. She's killing recruits that might question her orders, isn't she? That's rubbish. She wouldn't do that. I love how the roles have all changed so quickly in this circle. Okay, I asked about the initiation. Anything else I gotta do, Princess Lady Bro? I'm gonna talk to Wilmud. Can I talk to Wilmud? Doing it. If Wilmud came back, he might know more about the other missing recruits. I bet he would. Wilmud told me he was going outside Kirkwall. Clear his head, he said. Why didn't you tell us this? Knight Captain Cullen ordered it, right before he chased after Wilmud. That wasn't too long ago. If you hurry, you may catch them on the road. She's just withholding all the good gossip. Alright, I'm feeling like we didn't bring the right party member if we wanted them to talk about the initi initiation. Maybe Carver's lines were just the earlier parts about not trying to be suspicious with the Templars. The Order needs Templars who are firm in their convictions. Please find Wilmot. Find out what they're doing to the recruits. Joining the Templars was supposed to be a dream come true. But you hear so many terrible rumors. Did I? I thought I asked about the initiation, right? I'm pretty positive I hit that if button. If you have a plan, get to it. I could have messed it up. Okay, I was gonna say, do we need to reload? We haven't had to do a reload yet. We did a party wipe that doesn't count the same as a reload. <laughs> Okay, I don't think there's anything else we need here. Let's go to the Hanged Man. We'll get a drink and change up the party. And then go hunt some Templars down the road. <laughs> it's okay, they're all in that armor. They're really slow. So... Okay, I don't think there's any dialogue change. No, doesn't look like any um, dialogue change with this fight. Yeah, this is true, no fame positive. This is the type of game where characters die for forever, you gotta reload. Um, FFT traumatized you for life for permadeath characters in an RPG. Uh, which is that Final Fantasy? Which, which one's that? I'm trying to remember. I think uh, Origins was the first game. Tactics. Okay, I haven't played that one. Um, yeah, the first time I played a game where like they permadeathed a a character, I was like, my actions have consequences. What? What is this? <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> um, who else do we want to go meet for the... This This isn't going to affect any dialogue. But it is still very Mage Templar heavy. <laughs> Games are doing real life stuff. Absolutely not. Um, Anders. Or... Aveline. Or, yeah, Andrews or Aveline. Do we want to tank or do we want to bring more mage power to this? I just really like taking Andrews for any Colin moment anyway, just because of the... I feel like those two would have some great interactions if they had more time for dialogue and script in this. Okay, we're going for the drama. Hmm. 
All right, we gotta go to the mountains. Let's go. Let's go find us. Um, let's go find us a missing recruit. Well, I hope that's not him. Hope that's not <laughs> How many corpses are we gonna find until we find the person we're looking for? Nope, nope, that's where we came from. Already doing circles. Is this... <laughs> Jesus! Oh no! <laughs> we did an empty hair inventory! <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a slight problem. Okay, we're just- we're just gonna... Wow, this is- I've never had to do this before. This is... Horrible interfacing, but hold on. We're just throwing all of our trash on the ground. <laughs> I don't think we can come back, Princess Lady Bro. I think this is one of those like storyline markers. Wait, 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 not that way. Here we go, this way. And just they be my witness, Wilmot. I will have the truth from you now. Mercy, sir. Mercy. Were it that easy. Don't hit me. I will know where you're going, and I will know now. It's our favorite traumatized Templar, everyone. <laughs> right, no fame pod. I am notorious. Quick, go buy all the backpacks because you are a obsessive hoarder. You never get rid of anything, and you never use anything either because you might need it later. Don't you lay another hand on that boy. It's the blasted night, Captain. Don't. Oops. This is Templar business, stranger. <laughs> you have struck me the last time, you pathetic human. To me! Ah! Oh no! Well, at least we know where all the corpses came Make from. Preserve us. Oh boy. I don't like being surrounded here. I'm gonna move. Listen, little fuzz. I'm gonna try to carry everything. Oh no, why'd you come after me? Oh, that just botched that spell because... Ooh. Oh no! I'm running. Okay. Let's try this. Ah! I was just about to say, maybe we do need to bump up difficulty, but... <laughs> serpentine! You are absolutely right. This game needs more serpentine. Okay, they're not close enough, so I'm gonna... There we go. That looks... Look at that nice little grouping. Oh no, why me? I did nothing wrong! I'll deal with it. Uh, that one. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me! Wow, stagger really hurts. I knew. I knew he was involved in something sinister. But this... Is it even possible? I'm sorry, I just absolutely love the dialogue things where everyone's eyes just watch them go, but then half the party is bloodied and the other half is spotless. 
It kills it for me. <laughs> Do you think he was possessed? Normally, we only worry that mages will fall victim to possession. I have heard of blood mages or demons in solid form who could summon others into unwilling hosts. I had not thought one of our own would be susceptible. Okay, I... Isn't that what happened in Kinlock, though? Like, he literally saw that shit happen in his first circle. <laughs> Or maybe he was sequestered off to the side and didn't see it from where he was. But that's, that's what they were doing to all the mage recruits, right? And the Templars there? You shouldn't have been out here alone with him. I am Knight mm. Captain Cullen. I thank you for your assistance. I've been conducting an investigation of some of our recruits who have gone missing. Wilmard was the first to return. I had hoped to confront him quietly, out of sight. Knight Colin and his, uh, um, Justin Timberlake hair face. There we go. I almost called him Justin Beaver. I was like, no, that's not right. I got there. If you didn't know he was possessed, why draw your sword on a recruit? He'd only been back a few days when he left again secretly. It set off some warning bells. I meant to scare him into a confession. He had to believe my threats were genuine. The recruits believed that Meredith was conducting some sort of deadly ritual. What? <laughs> That's preposterous. Recruits can be worse than a weaving circle with their rumors. There is a vigil before Templars take their arms, but the gravest danger they face is falling asleep. Do you know what happened to Wilmard while he was gone? Obviously more than I had anticipated. Wilmard has never been fully convinced of the Order's rules. Mages cannot be our friends. They must always be watched. I thought Wilmot might be meeting with some old friends who'd escaped the circle. Should we? <laughs> I know we're trying to play Bethany, not starting shit. But I don't think we can piss anyone off here. I've got friends who are mages. Are you saying they need to always be watched as well? I was at the Circle Tower in Ferelden during the Blight. I saw firsthand how Templars' trust and leniency can be rewarded. Trust and leniency? Is that what you call it? I still have nightmares of Aldred's depravities. Okay, so bringing Andrus was a good idea because Andrus was at that same circle, but I think he got... The timeline's wonky, but I think he ran away and was on the run um, during the whole um, fall of the circle. Uh, uh, bad boy, uh, that's way to undercut it a little bit there, Aldred. That was pretty fucking bad. Um, yeah, that tower is a um, hell of a way to get an intro into the series. Uh, I think only the deep roads was darker than the tower for me. Um, I was trying to find another recruit, a friend of Wilma's. Do you know where Karen is? Oh, hey, Donataco. He also disappeared. They were last seen together at the Blooming Rose. But I had no luck interrogating the, uh, young ladies there. I doubt they know anything of magic or demons. Welcome, welcome, Donataco. <laughs> yeah, uh... Policy, you know, it's yeah, so much of this game. I highly recommend getting the mod where you get the blood off of the teeth because there's nothing more disturbing than having a full dialogue with a mouthful of blood. Um, well, I'll speak with them. You never know how much you can learn from Pillow Talk. The order would truly be in your debt if you helped us with this. No one at the brothel will speak with me for fear I would shut them down for serving our recruits. If you learn what manner of creature did this to Wilmot, please come tell me in the gallows. I will ensure you are rewarded. It is a highly specific mod and it does one function and one function function over. However, it is worth it. <laughs> it is great.
Hey. One more recipe. All right, let's... Hopefully we won't hit the inventory cap. But we got... Okay, that's leaving the area. I feel like there was one more nook and cranny we didn't go exploring in. We went up. Oh man, this would have been a really great sniping position. I've never done the soulless romance either, and I don't think I could now. I know too much, I don't think I could. No, my second playthrough, I'm, I'm playing a dude, which I have not done. Um, actually, no, I've, I've done a Garrett Hawk a few times in Dragon Age 2, because that's fun. Um, but my next Inquisition run is I really want to do the uh, Dorian Romance, because I hear it's a great fucking story. I think he has a little bit of dialogue if we just go chat with him. Because I think we now officially unlocked Colin. What? Just wondering if the feathered pauldrons are an essential part of the moody rebel mage persona. Uh-huh. What are you talking about? I'm working on an epic poem about a hopelessly romantic apostate waging an epic struggle against forces he can't possibly defeat. What do you mean, can't possibly defeat? Well, it's not a good story unless the hero dies. I don't like that implication, Varric. Our lad Karen is still missing. I hope he has not met Wilmot's same fate. Oh, that's right. We probably should really focus on this because he could be a demon right now. Let's see if the gossip circle has anything new. Order needs Templars who are firm in their convictions. I hope they find Karen soon. And Wilmid, of course. Oh, bad news about Wilmid. Oh, we got to sell our shit. Okay. All right, we're gonna have to go drop all of this in our... We are so close to 50 gold, even though we are doing our best to buy everything. Yeah, the subtle foreshadowing in both the games is really good, Princess Lady Bro. Like, even on several playthroughs, you can still spot some things. Um, you generally have to choose different choices, which is what gets me up, because I tend to fall into the same... Are you... are you barking, boy? Nice hound, sister. More agreeable than most of your company. A few hundred of you, and we'd have taken Lothering. Well, had a good shot. That's a good dog. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. That was cute. Okay. Um, okay, that's retrieving. This is storing, so we're just gonna throw everything in. Yeah, that's plan B, uh, Princess Lady Bro, is if we accidentally go over, we're going to the Emporium and we're just buying everything, or we're just gonna load up on potions before we go into the deep roads. Okay. Storage is a mess, but inventory's clean. Ah, uh, you know what? We actually haven't been to the Black Emporium yet, now that I think about it. We'll have to make sure we do that before the end of Act 1. I don't think anything changes. Oh no, wait, no, things do change Act to Act. Um, okay. Who are we taking? We're going to the Blue and Rose. The two people who have the most experience with Blue and Rose. Carver, get back here, Carver, and Isabella. Um... They are coincidentally the only two people who actually get reputation for this. Who are we taking to the brothel? <laughs> um, 
Meryl is fun. Does she get positive um, dialogue choices in this? Let me just make sure she doesn't before I grab her. Okay, no. Who loves nugs? <laughs> I don't know if you guys watch the um, Dropout TV's Um Actually series. If you don't, I have been binging it over uh, the holiday break. Highly recommend it. It's a so much fun. But they have a couple Dragon Age questions in there, and one of them was the like, uh, say who uh, they had with like a bunch of mounts up, and they would have to say like who they belong to, like what video game, and they had a Nugalope from Inquisition. And I was so excited. Okay, we are going to Blooming Rose. Okay, High Town. There we go. I have a very short attention span. Do you miss it? For Elden, I mean. Sometimes. Blackberries. They don't seem to grow here. And there were little songbirds with black caps on their heads. I sort of miss the dogs barking. Yes. It's mostly been humans barking at me here. Not nearly as cute. I'm 100% for Meryl and Carver. Like, I wish uh, that had a chance to kind of develop more. Because they're really fucking cute together. Yeah, everything on Dropout is so good. Um... I'm just slowly starting to expand out from the uh, Dimension 20 live play shows and doing some more of their um, game shows and stuff like that. Uh, but everything on there is really freaking good. Game Changer is fun. Um, the 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 lies one that's something the night lounge or something like that is a lot of fun where they they have a a truth and you have to try and guess who it belongs to and everyone lies about um, it not being them. But then it, that's also a possibility that the host or the bartender, it could be about them. So you're all pointing fingers. It's great. It's so funny. And especially how they word some of the, the rumors too. So you can take it several different ways to try and point the finger elsewhere. Okay, okay, focus, focus, we're on a mission. We need to save a Templar recruit. We need to save Karen from the demon managers because they pissed them off. <laughs> Do you need something, honey? I don't think Bethany would ask that. But it feels like it'd be funny. Okay, we're just gonna go straight to the point. A couple of Templar recruits went missing. They were last seen here. You'll have to be more specific. We do a lot of business with the Templars. No wonder they won't speak with Colin. I've... she would get dramatic. We have a lot of missing Templars. If we don't act quickly, we may only find corpses. Now, now, no need to get all dramatic on me. It worked. Let me look through the books. Wilmot, Karen. Here we go. Wilmot came in here a lot. You sure he had time to be a Templar? The both of them last saw Iduna, the exotic wonder from the east. I love her so much. Can we recruit her into our party? I just want her commenting on everything. That's quite the stage name. It sounds better than the tramp from Darktown. You should hear what some of the others are called. All right, don't make fun, legitimate business. But I, I do love her, her commentary. Is there anything else you can tell me? Honey, I could write volumes on the things I know. Unless you want Wilma's favorite position, I think you have what you need. You didn't hear any of this from me. We clear? Quintus, can I have just one drink? 
Madam says no, and I'm not crushing that old bat for anything. I won't mention this to your mother if you don't. I really do love just how many Templars and Templar quests take you to the freaking brothel. <laughs> Like, I don't think there's a legitimate quest that isn't Templar related that takes you to the brothel. <laughs> I feel like I should get a quest or turn something in with these guys. They're up to something. You guys want to play some D&D? &D? Come on. You've been there for a while. You never leave. You're a party of like eight. Hey, kiddo. Oh, okay. Never mind. How do you do that? Do what, kiddo? You sort of... Swagger when you walk. I've been trying, but I trip over my own feet when I do it. You just strut. It's not something you practice. How do I learn it then? It comes to you, usually at night. It's like a lover, or maybe a burglar. Either it ravishes you, or runs off with all your jewelry, and you have to run it down and stab it in the heart. And that metaphor got a bit away from me, didn't it? I think it did, but it was certainly exciting. Okay, but now Meryl's gonna think she has to go rob someone in order to learn how to swagger. We're just barging in. Hey, we barged in on the right one! Carver, buddy. Go seducer. Ah. You do know, right? Do you remember entertaining a Templar named Wilmot a few weeks ago? Or Karen. Wilmot. Wilmot. That doesn't sound familiar. I know he saw you frequently. With a body like mine, men rarely have time to give me their names. They're too busy doing other things. Questions are boring. Why don't we have some real fun? Are you certain we can't postpone this, Hawk? You should listen to your friend. In hindsight, this was a really awkward one to take your brother on. <laughs> we have to ask her about Karen. What's your problem? You really can be quite a bore. You know that, right? I'm here on business. Karen. Wilmot. Answer one of my questions first. Who told you about little old me? It was Vivica. She showed me her books. That wasn't so hard, was it? So, Vivica sold me out, did she? That drab, pathetic little sewer rat. She will be dealt with. Just do one more thing for me. Draw your blade and bring it gently across your throat. I will not... Be toys. How did you? Oh shit. Spare me, Messer. What foul magic was that? Blood and desire in equal measure. An art I learned from elsewhere. Blood magic, then? Yes, Messer. Please don't kill me. You were just about to kill me! You're going to answer all my questions. And if there's even a hint of magic. Tarani put me here to send biddable Templar recruits to the sanctuary. Three Spear Alley in the Undercity. I enchanted Wilmot and Karen weeks ago. But after they left these walls, I know not what came of them. Please, let me live. It's not my fault. It was all Tarani's idea. 
Tell me about Tirane. She put me up to this. She said we can recreate the ancient Imperium. That mages can rule again, not serve. She says the Templars cannot hold against us if we stand up and fight. This base of yours. How many other mages are there? Any other defenses? People go in and out all the time. Sometimes a handful, sometimes more. There are traps. Magical traps. There's a hidden switch at the front. It turns them off. That, that's all I know. I straight up forgot that she does, like, try to kill you. I, like... Yeah, no, I, I... Like, she didn't even, like, beat around the bush for it. It was right off the bat. Her first option was like, well, you're gonna die now, and she's gonna go kill that other lady, too, who gave us the answer. All right, usually I'm not straight for murder, but... You're just too dangerous. You have to die. No. No! Where'd she get the dagger all of a sudden? <laughs> Hey, we got Carver Rep. Um. Ah, the blooming rose. Where people come, then go. Oh, I thought this was where she made her prostitutes joke. Maybe not. Or maybe we did the setup wrong. I'm disappointed. Like I said, we never talked. Fetch mommy a glass of wine. I hear the new king of Ferelden is even dumber than the last one. I bet the Elysians are thrilled. Oh, I think I made Alistair king in this one. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. We gotta go to Dark Town, which that one is a. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Yep, we need to get Anders and that. Because, um. We're gonna have some dialogue that's gonna piss off some mages. How did you learn swording? Swording? Those things you do with the sword. It looks tricky. Was it hard to learn? Takes a lot of practice. Well, you seem good at it. I bet one day you'd be the best sorter in Kirkwall. Meryl. I said something wrong again, didn't I? Maybe I'll just stop talking. Don't stop, Meryl. You're adorable. Okay. Uh, to the hanged man. This game really is just a bunch of dialogue and then quick changing out your party and then a bunch of dialogue and quick changing out your party. <laughs> it's worse in the first act because you just want to get as far as you can in all the reputation because the minute it solidifies with everyone, then you can't change it. So you can worry less about who you're taking where and some of the more um, like uh, opinionated quests, I think, come later. So the sooner you can get it done the better. Uh, I think the way we're doing it right now, I don't think we're going to get anyone to 100% in the first one. D&D's out. Dialogue and parties is in. Yeah! I'm here for it. Let's go, no fame pod. Okay. So we need Carver, because he gets rep on this. Um, Anders. And Meryl. Yes. I'm going with yes. Hopefully we don't botch this. Oh, man. Okay, we're gonna have to save because, um... We may accidentally set off the first sacrifice. 
depending on which way we go. I don't remember which entrance it's in. So let's actually just go ahead and save right now. So I don't think they tell you what quest the entrances um, do. All right, the meeting place. All right, let's read. Let's read a description. Maybe confront the blood mages at their dark town sanctuary. Go to the location marked on the Free Marches world map to get the... All right, that's Act of Mercy. That's not the one we want. Find Templar Emmerich in Darktown and ask him what he knows of the net. Okay, I think Emmerich was going to a meeting place. So let's avoid that one. Let's go find a different entrance into the... Oh, they're really no fame pod. Isn't that kind of all what D&D &D is? Is a bunch of dialogue and parties with the occasional dragon. I can't accurately express my gratitude, but thank you. With combat sprinkled on top, which is mostly PvP driven, let's be honest there, Princess Lady Pro. <laughs> huh, maybe it is the meeting place. Dark Town Sanctuary. Okay, we're in the right spot. There we go. Ferelden's. I can still smell the dog on them. Rude. It's because I have my dog right here. Although I'm just imagining this thing right here has a sign on the outside that just says sanctuary. Like worst protected sanctuary ever. We should go carefully. Who knows what this many blood mages may have summoned to defend themselves. She told us there'd be traps. We did not bring Isabella. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Carver. Buddy. Brother dear. Buddy old pal. Go forth. Yep. Oh god. Oh god. Oh shit. This was a bad choice. Everyone's health is dropping really quick. Oh, I'm starting to think the knockback doesn't work on these guys. Why are you not healing? <laughs> That's actually a really good point. Why is he not healing? I might not have gotten the tactics set up yet, so... We'll switch the marrow. Oh, I probably should have read what her spells do. Whoops! Yeah, this is what I get for saying we're gonna try on hard mode. Alright, flee up. 
Oh, that's not good. I think it disappeared. Because it likes to chase. There it is. Oof. It really wants Meryl. Yep. She's just going to have to stay on her ground. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to escape it. We did it! That could have gone so much smoother. Yeah, rock armor is pretty awesome. Oh, I think this is the magical trap they're talking about. Because something, like, when it, uh, Carver first ran here, like, arrows went off. Alright, we are slowly getting all of those materials that we need. That is a big ass book in the middle of nowhere. The veil is a really cool concept um, in the Dragon Age world that um, I'm really hoping they do more with in... Oh, good night, No Fame Pod. Thanks for stopping by. We will see you next time. Oh shit, archers just summoned from everywhere. That's why they're boring open. Oh, Meryl's just tanking this guy back here by herself. But yeah, the, the veil is a really cool concept that they have in Dragon Age where it's... And Princess Ladybug, you probably know more about this than I do because I usually don't um, main as mage. Um, so you just kind of get the outsider's perspective looking in. But it's kind of represented as a dream world. Like when you sleep, that's where all the dreams go. But it's actually... Um, like where all magic comes from and that's where all the demons and the spirits live and why is this squishy girl going down first Carver do your thing Just actually don't step over the thing that looks like a trap okay it's an in-between of sorts I just know that when you dream it's the veil and like, do, okay, so do mages sleep, or, I can't remember, I, I can't remember if the big thing is, like, mages don't dream, or mages don't have nightmares, because they're supposed to be, like, be in control, because they're constantly tempted by demons who are from the Fade while they sleep. Anyway, it's just a really cool idea where I kind of enjoy it. Oh, Andrew's buddy, what are you doing? Okay, so they sleep and slip into the veil and can explore it mentally with their link because of the magic. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, Andrew's buddy, sorry. Not see you go down. Demons are drawn to them because they're using their powers. Okay. Thank you. Because I know that the dream thing is part of what makes... Um, <clears throat> it's specifically with the dreaming, I think, with the connection to the demons that makes mages potentially so dangerous and not even in a um like a mwahaha i'm going evil so i'm making this deal with this demon but a just very randomly they can just get possessed at any moment no matter how strong you are i know that this um in dragon h2 was supposed to have a plot line where if you were a mage hawk you were um get dangerously close to losing control there was supposed to be a whole Okay, why did she not set it off, but Carver did? <laughs> you 
you guys noticed that? Yeah, Princess Lady Bro, if you played Mage Hawk, uh, th there was supposed to be a whole plot line where Hawk gets dangerously close from losing control, and um, I, I don't remember if it was like getting possessed by a demon or what, but to kind of show the whole, despite how strong Hawk is and despite being the main player, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, it's, it's like, this is why people fear the mages so much. And without it, it kind of really loses the, um, I don't think this game, I know that they, like it's blood mages left, blood mages right, but almost every single blood mage you come across feels like they were pushed to it, like desperation. And so it's really hard not to feel bad for the mages and to try and like jump through the logic hoop saying the Templars are justified in what they're doing because it always feels like the Templars caused the mages turning to blood magic, at least in, in Dragon Age 2 to me, from what you see and how they present the story. And so that Hawk storyline really would have, at least for me, um, feel like um, you get the, the the world sense of what regular people in the in that this the Thetis world feel about mages and why they are just so terrified of them. Um, I'm saving. This has been a um. We're going to do a new save, just in case I, I fuck this up in some way. Yeah, Princess Lady, one of my, my run-throughs, I tried getting the Templar achievement, and um, I didn't get the achievement, but I did do the Templar ending, and it actually unlocked a lot of dialogue and mini backstories that you learn more about the Templar side, like, oh, okay, this stuff makes sense, but... I wish they did more of that when it comes to making the decisions, because um, when it comes down to making the decisions, it always feels like it's... I don't know, to me, it always feels like you, you gotta side with the mages, because it, it hasn't been presented in, like, the argument of, wow, the mages deserve this. It never feels like they deserve it. It feels like they were pushed to it, or, like, someone got harshly judged, or you just need to research and figure out more of the story to learn what was going on, and then, oh no. There was something else going on here. The mages didn't deserve it. Yeah, I wish they did more on trying doing that because it always just feels like, to me, the mages are the this makes sense decision. This feels the like the empathetic decision. And why is this guy floating in the ceiling? This is very creepy. In his pajama pants. Oof. How what? More vessels for our experiments. Where is Karen? Perhaps the demons will find one of you suitable. Always the demon thing. Can't you people say no? I am not some hopeless waif that ran crying to a demon. I sought them out and embraced them. Okay, never mind. She's the exception. I forget about her. I forgot about her. <laughs> Why have you taken the recruits? Demons can inhabit much more than mages and corpses. With assistance, they can control anyone I ask. Any <laughs> Templar, any noble, any well-meaning meddler. If you turn yourself in now, the Templars may spare your life. Oh, the really... Templars! We will destroy their entire pathetic order. If a few more Templars fall to the demons, we can seed chaos in their ranks. How many abominations can they discover amongst their own before it drives the Knight Commander crazy? Tell me where Karen is. The experiments need so much fuel, you see. So many living vessels are found wanting. Useless vessels can still feed the compost heap, so it's not a complete waste. The demons are using you. Fight them. In days of old, the De Winter Imperium spanned the known world. Demons were their allies, held in check by power and knowledge. With a wave of a hand, I could do more than a Templar can achieve in a lifetime. Yet they command us. Absurd. We should be ruling them. We should rule you all. 
Kill the vessels only if you must. You're not making a solid argument, lady. Oh god, there's two of them! Shit! And we're just gonna drop this, and hopefully the other guy does not hit me. Yeah, he ignored me. We're gonna focus fire on her. Oh shit, there's three of them. Oh no! Don't hit me! Jesus! Anders! Thank you! Oh god, I'm like stunlocked. Alright. Yeesh. Yeah, we're gonna see if this goes through. This was a bad party makeup. Alright. Try and get as many of these guys aggroed onto you. Andrews, stop attacking. Uh, Meryl. I think you've already did everything you could. Okay, let's get you a little bit further away. Oh shit, she got hit with it. Okay. Um, and he can't do another heal. Awesome! Oh no, there goes Carver! Okay, it's okay, she's up now. We're gonna have her drop this. Come on. There we go. Oh no, Meryl! <laughs> Shit! Anders, it's up to you! <laughs> okay, that's why she's bubbled. Yeah, we're gonna have to probably reload this because... Switching over to. My magic will destroy you. Ew, shit. Oh, not dead yet. Come on. This is my favorite part. Destructive forces of nature coming up. Okay. Let's heal him. Yeah, it's this is gonna be a white. There we go. Whoops. Okay, let's try. Bad again. Oof. That was embarrassing, folks. <laughs> oh shit! No. <laughs> okay. Do all these guys turn into them? I know we gotta get these abominations down quick because that hurt. Oh shit, did not mean to aggro so quickly. But we're gonna focus fire on one and take these down one at a time. Yeah, he's focusing on me. Okay, got that one. Let's go ahead and get some hits on her while we can. Okay. This is one of the instances where it, it pays to not do as much damage and not aggro everything. Um. Oh shit, okay, who's in range of that? This big shiny thing is not a good thing. Anders, I'll have you go out too. Uh, Carver, I think you're out of range of it, so you can stay there. Oh, shit! There goes the tank. I didn't guess he wasn't out of range. But just. Here we go. Okay. And now the Desire Demon. Oh, 
Oops, all mages, yep. Actually, what we're gonna do is let's try and throw her off her feet. There we go. So now I can't. Unlock mage party. There we go. Mother, the lights. River enters the chat. <laughs> yeah, I'll be there in a second, buddy. We're just gonna loot all the things first. save after that because that was painful. Is it is it over? <laughs> Forgot Can I did I? the hairy chest yes. mod. <laughs> oh, thank the maker. I thought he had abandoned me. I I don't know what they did to me. There were demons. My head. I never, I never understood why people could be so terrified of mages. Our family had two. You, Bethany. But this, Andraste was right to warn against magic. <laughs> I totally forgot I did that. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a shirtless dude to come in the middle of the quest. Um. Tirane made a choice to practice blood magic. Most mages are good people. You don't think I know that? It's just that I never really thought about their side. Now I see. What happens now? Meryl? You know something about this. Is he possessed? I don't know. It's... it's clean. There's no scent of demons in his blood. If there's even the slightest chance you're possessed, the Templars need to know. No, no, I'm me, I swear. Don't tell the Templars. I... I don't know what they do to me. Please. I need to go back. Tell them I'm all right. Tell my sister. I... I must go. When you talk to Sir Cullen, maybe downplay the blood magic angle. We don't need the Templars cracking down even harder. I did not mean to make that as hilarious as it was. All right, but we got our positive colon points, our negative Anders points, and our negative Meryl points. All right, now we need to go report this to Colin, but let's go swing by and shape up our party. Um, let's see here. Just checking really quick on who's going to give us the friendship points that we're trying to get.
It's actually more so the people we don't want in the party right now. I think we can get some negative Anders ones with what we're trying. That and also it's still fun because Anders and Collins will forever butt heads over everything. Which they should, it makes sense for what they each stand for. And for what they each have been through and the fact that they have the similar history in Kenlock. Which I wish they went more into, like, do they know each other? You'd think with Colin serving at Kenlock and Anders being there for as long as he did, the two would know each other. Although I guess, like, they kind of established Colin as a young Templar at the beginning of Origins and Anders being a perpetual, um, breakout. I, there's lore there, I know it, I want to know. What's so, a human, an elf, oh. and a dwarf walk into a bar. The human says, You're lucky you're so short. That hurt like mad. You could have just stopped me, Blondie. Why waste a perfectly good setup? I feel Varric tries so hard to lighten up Anders. <laughs> Anders has escaped like 17 times, or it's seven. I mean, I'm agreeing with Lilfa, 17 sounds more impressive, but um, considering the more strict circles have the threat of tranquiling the escaped mages, even just one escape attempt is impressive as hell. Blood mages have infiltrated your ranks. They've been implanting your recruits with demons. Sweet blood of Andraste. Demons? Did you say something about the recruits and demons? I didn't want to tell you, Masha. They... they were horrible. Those mages see the rest of us as ants to be crushed. They won't stop until they've destroyed the Chantry and the Templars forever. Not all mages are like that. Sister, not now. True, not every mage gives in to temptation, but none are ever free of it. At any time, any mage could become a monster, from the lowest apprentice to the most seasoned enchanters. Mages cannot be treated like people. They are not like you and me. Surely that's a little harsh. They are weapons. They have the power to light a city on fire in a fit of pique. There's fault on both sides. We must find a way to live in peace. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps mages need better education as to why the Chantry functions as it does. Perhaps they would not go against the will of Andraste herself. I will look into it. For now, Karen, unless it is proven you are free of demons, I must strip you of your commission immediately. No, you can't really think that. Karen's fine. He's safe. Please, sir. I tried to resist. I never took anything they offered. I... I need this position, or my sister can't eat. I've been training for five years. We conducted tests on Karen. He's not possessed. He can stay in the Order. I hesitate to ask what methods you used that you are so certain. Still, you have done much for us by stopping these blood mages. I will heed your request. If he has shown no sign of demonic possession in ten years' time, Karen will become eligible for full knighthood. Thank you, Sarah. Again. But without a full knighthood, Karen's pay is so small. I do not know if I can reward you as you deserve. I will handle that, miss. You have done the Order a great service. We will not forget it. We did it! We got our Carver friendship points, and we got our first plus mage point in the uh, Arcane Defender. And we only wiped once. <laughs> Karen is back. The night 
captain said that there will be no more recruits kidnapped. I mean, not if we don't have anything to do with it. I heard blood mages took Karen. Blasted robes think they own the place. Karen's back. But the others, no one will see. Yep, I don't think they're coming back, buddy. We're gonna sell off our junk. <laughs> like a good organizer. Alright, let's go. We got leave and we can come back and we can get an updated um, colon dialogue. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Because uh, he's gonna lore drop on us. So we want to make sure we have the right people, I think. Oh yeah, definitely want the right people for that one. We're gonna piss off some people. It's gonna be great. Let's go. So, apparently people looked into the code, the code for the, um, I forget what it's called, but when you play Dragon Age Inquisition, you can't load games into it, so you have to fill out the, um, oh, it's like a keep, like the Dragon Age keep or something like that, where you say all the choices that you did in Origins and then all the choices that you did in Dragon Age 2, and I mean all of them. Uh, but they've discovered some choices that they left off, which people assume is because they either didn't matter in Inquisition or they weren't clear about um, how they unlocked them. But one of them was um, whether or not you became friends with Colin in Dragon Age 2. And um, that used to be an option, which people were like, we didn't even realize that was a thing, but apparently there's a single bit of dialogue that is different in Act 3 if you befriend Colin versus if you don't. I can't tell you what it is, but the one time I tried, and again failed, to do the Templar ending, I did notice a line that I had never heard before, and I've trying to remember what it was. <gasps> Who knighted him? Is that a serious question? Did he have a little sword or just his claws? I bet he had a dashing cap with a feather in it. Would you stop making fun of my cat? Oh, no hat then. Anders, you didn't get him little boots and a hat and a sword? He was a knight. I have told the knight commander of your service. Oh, more attention. That's just grand. She commends your quick thinking and has agreed to keep the lad Karen around for observation. I've heard a lot about the Knight Commander. What's she really like? She is not an easy taskmaster, but it is not an easy task. I would not have liked her when I was younger. I thought mages deserved a softer touch. But Meredith is never fooled by a sweet face. She always sees the demon behind it. Colin really does tell on himself a lot. You sound Ferelden. How did you end up here? I was in the Circle Tower in Ferelden when Uldred summoned his demons. I was held in a cage for... I can't even say. Weeks? Months? It was one unending nightmare. I watched what those mages did, what they became. I would gladly give my life to avoid seeing that again. Okay, he is begging for therapy. He is telling a literal stranger his backstory. The Inquisitor had to fight so hard to get that information, and he's just telling everyone in Kirkwall. He is begging for help. They should not have put him on active duty so soon. And he looks like he hasn't slept, too. I mean, I've got a mod that kind of cleans up the NPC faces so they don't look so nitty-gritty, and he still looks sleep-deprived. What's it like being in the Order? Do you feel you're accomplishing anything? The Templars are not a good choice for anyone who requires a strong sense of achievement. 
It is a losing battle. Every day new mages are born in Thedas. Every day those born a dozen years ago come into their power. The best we can do is to contain the threat and recruit more to fill our own ranks when they're emptied. A good point, Little Fuzz. The Lyrium addiction too, you can't discount that. Although he should be pretty young because you don't actually see any... Um, I think prior to... Um, yeah, prior to Inquisition, the only one you saw going through withdrawals was an origin was the older Templars who had been in the Order for a long time. Otherwise, all the ones in Kirkwall were the ones that Meredith forces off, so they're in early withdrawals. Um, but yeah, you don't really see the effects of the addiction until you, the older Templars. Okay. This is as Bethany who is a mage, hidden in the city, trying to A, please her brother, and B, slide under the radar and not piss off the night captain <laughs> that she has accidentally gotten too much attention from. We were just trying to be nice and save some people from some possessed blood mages because the sister was really distraught. So we're, we're going with... This is what she would tell him. The Templars provide a necessary service. That's a surprisingly unpopular viewpoint. It used to be that Templars were welcomed wherever they went, for defending people from dark magics. Now the townsfolk are as likely to slam their doors as offer us a bed. The image of the poor, chained apprentice is a powerful one, and one the mages are more than willing to exploit. Oh, I didn't lose any Anders points. Did we already max him? Huh. Well, that's weird. Meryl lost a lot, but I thought Andrews was going to lose some too, but he seems surprisingly okay with that. Very weird. Maybe he has a soft spot for Colin after all. No. Okay, we are mostly there for the, the five Carver points. We are just scraping them where we can get them at this point. Which actually, how are we doing on Carver? We're solidly into the blue. Look at that. You'd think he would have a friendlier tone with us. Okay. What do we have up next? Yeah, Andrews is just like, why do I know him? Why do I know him? Although I, I completely see Andrews very much so being like, all Templars look the same. <laughs> and purposely not remembering their names at all. Uh, which one? Which one are you talking about, Lil Fuzz? Who's the jackass? Alright, we're looking at... We still have an act of mercy, the first sacrifice, um, and the herbalist task. Um, all these side quests we need to track down and turn in, which that's just finding people. And we also need to decide, okay, I've ru I crunched the numbers, I did the math. The only way to get 100% with Carver if we're not taking him to the deep roads is we need to do the um, a, men a memento storyline of the past in the first act, which doesn't make sense to me. I know you can do it. But I feel it makes so much more sense in the third act, like after like Hawk has been around and gotten some notoriety and gotten the reputation. We can get Carver to like, I think it's plus 95 friendship um, if we don't do it in the first act. But otherwise, it's just literally impossible to not get him to 100% friendship, uh, not taking him into the deep roads if we don't do the memento of the past in the first act. So we're not going to do it right now, but that is a decision we have to do later, because that is going to take a couple of hours to get through that. That is, that is, uh, I don't know, two or three days of playthrough? I, I just remember it taking forever. I also spent a lot of time agonizing over dialogue choices the first time I did it, and I've only done it once, although that final boss fight was a lot of fun. Um, let's go ahead and do the herbalist task, 
because um, that's a really quick fetch. And maybe after that one, we can knock out the Act of Mercy um, since we need to have Carver in the party for that. Just knock out the, re the last of our uh, mage requirements. All right, I don't think... I, I really think this is like dungeon crawl-esque. So let's get our tank, let's get our rogue because it's gonna be more so combat. So do we wanna bring Varric, Meryl, or Carver? I'm a little salty over Anders. I feel like he dropped the ball a few times in that last quest. It could be 100% because of how I built him and how I haven't given him Proctor Tactics. Um, but still, uh, not thrilled with his performance. We're gonna have to go look into his setup. So he's not coming with us for this. I guess we could also bring Fenris. Varric. Gotta vote for Varric. We're taking our... Taking our dwarf buddy. To the mountains! What is this? A bone pit. Oh yeah. Double warrior is fun. Oh, maybe I should have grabbed Meryl. We're going to back to Dalish. That's fine. They always treat her mean anyway. We're just making sure nothing new is spawned in these outgrowths. So do you do you play as warrior or which warriors do you take an in Inquisition? I'm assuming Cassandra and Iron Bull. Or are you a, a Blackwall fan? Is it Blackwall or Blackwell? I can never remember. As you can see, he's not my, usually my go-to. I was a big Cassandra fan. Conclude your business with Keeper Marathari, Shemlin, and be gone from here. <laughs> I know, Conclude right, Plastic Ghost? Keeper Marathari, Shemlin, and be gone from here. And it wasn't you. I want to talk to her. Wow. Just not let her talk. I, I do intend on like taking Blackwall more places because I kind of feel like I feel he's one of those characters that you initially get a, like you're not interested in but the more you take him like he has a, a more interesting story you just gotta force yourself through the first tomp to get through it but he's never really I think it falls into the trap. There's just so much more interesting other warriors I like so much better. Unfortunately, Cole is the same thing for me. I like the other rogues. Actually, no, I played rogue because I, I didn't take Sarah. I took Varric everywhere because I loved Varric and I myself was a rogue. I need to take Sarah and Cole more places. Poor uh, Sarah just fell into the trap of I also played an archer rogue, so... This was lost. Perhaps it should be. But that does not diminish your kindness. That's very sweet, Chanter. There's a lot of background dialogue in this place. Three days in a row I've shot at and missed deer. Maybe it's not the mountain. Maybe it's just you that's cursed my love. You always know just what to say to put my mind at ease. Savage. Uh, Plastic Ghost, you generally only use a rogue when you're the rogue, otherwise you double mage the warrior. Why do you hate lockpicking so? What have the chests done for you in the game? Wow, there is so much dialogue in this. Uh, Princess Lady Bro, you love Cole. He is a child and his interactions with Solus are good and also with Varric. Okay, I, I can see Cole if you're taking Solus everywhere. I kept Solus home a lot <laughs> because I like taking Dorian. <laughs> And I also like taking Vivian because her build is pretty OP. I had fun with her. Um, okay, Little Fuzz, your first playthrough was a starter archer rogue, then quickly stopped. You didn't like it too much. I liked backflipping and then doing the arrows. It was so much fun. Okay, we already got that dialogue. Let's move. 
Oh shit, Princess Ladybro, did you catch that? May the dread wolf never hear your footsteps, child. Just for you. Um, the chess may keep their secrets. Wow. <laughs> I'm such a rogue at heart, it kills me every time I see a chest and I can't open it. I will forever complain about it, as you all witnessed in the, the first stream of this, as you come across the chest that is literally impossible to open if you are not playing a rogue. It drives me batty every time I see it. <laughs> I'm inclined to get more injury kits, just because that is... We're not doing so hot, folks. And uh, we don't need the runes, because hopefully we're looking to buy runes. You've returned. Is there something you need? Do you have any pure iron bark in stock? What use is iron bark to you? I've never met a Shem who could bend it to his will. Either way, I'm out of stock. I do know where it can be found, but it is impossible to retrieve. Our people were forbidden from venturing to the area after we lost two of our best hunters there. What's the problem? Maybe I can give you a hand dealing with it. I find it insulting that you think you would succeed where we could not. The place Oops. is overrun by darkspawn. If we tried to eradicate them, we would risk the precious few hunters we have left. I'll show you where the area is. What you do with the information is up to you. Bad conversation choice. It doesn't look that bad. What's it supposed to be? If you can't tell what it is, then it's rubbish. Hush! Oh, poor little trainer oh. guy. Um, it's a little platformable, perhaps? Told you so. Okay. Is it up here? It really wasn't your fault, you know. Masaranis, Juna. It feels like my fault, though. We can get more, Hala. Oh. It won't be the same. I didn't realize we'd ever learn what happened to the missing Hala. I just always assumed they ran off. That may be a sign we haven't been here. Oh, that may be one of the mods I added was an increased dialogue, and so if you don't frequent a place and it has a bunch of dialogue that you haven't gotten yet, it may just do what we just witnessed, which was all the dialogue all at once. <laughs> so we may need to just start visiting the areas more often, which means the Black Emporium's gonna be very interesting when we get to um, finally get down there, because we have not been there at all yet. And we do need to go before the end of the act. All right, I don't think it's... Okay, maybe we have to leave. Maybe it's on the the map outside of town. We're making our way. That seems ominous. Let's go! Okay, doesn't seem so bad. Okay, that's more than I thought, but still doesn't seem so bad. Ooh, a furlock. Okay, that's one of their casters, right? Ah, shit! They got my butt! Okay, was that it? I feel like we got sass for a whole lot of nothing if that was it. Okay, we got a single guy coming. We got a few more guys coming.
Okay, this doesn't seem too bad. We got our waves. Okay, I didn't realize that guy was there. He kind of just kept on charging. Oh, what hit her? Oh shit, that's an ogre. Did you guys see her health drop? Holy shit. Okay, Aveline, before you run out there. Um, take one of those. Isabella, move. I better have a lot of these. Yeah, I know we need to restock, but I don't think you guys are gonna go through all 15 of them. Okay, Isabella, move. Run! Okay, that was pretty OP. That one freezing spell held it in place for just about nearly all of its health once everyone got hitting on it. Alright, let's go exploring. Here we go, pure iron bark. Now we can take that back to... I don't know, do we need to take it back to the Dalish guy? I feel like we should at least tell him that the area's opened up, even if he's gonna yell at us again. Get all the resources! Alright, we can't come back that way. Just trying to make sure there's nothing else in this area, because I think this is one of those places that... Once you leave, you leave. You can't come back. And they do, in fact, hide limited resources in these kind of maps that you only visit once for the quest. It is very frustrating. Tends to work in my, my favor just because I'm one of those players that like to explore every single nook, as you can tell by me circling the exact same area for the second time. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, we did that loop. We did that loop. We're leaving. That that was everything. And that's not a, a cave we can go into. Let's go tell the Dalish we cleared their their hunting grounds. Uh, I believe it was on the Thunder Mount. I keep telling myself, once I get these achievements, I won't have to keep doing this, but we all know I will. You can't defeat the Hoarder's Habit. Hey buddies, we're back. Watch your steps, Yam. You don't know how many Dalish arrows are trained on you right now. I'm gonna guess five. You've returned. Is there something you need? Are you a specialist? What sort of things do you make? A Dalish crafter does many things. We create weapons, armor, anything our clan has need of. I don't need anything right now. Of course. Oh, we should be able to we tell him that we cleared it out. It's true. How else will you know you got everything, Little Fuzz? You have to go through and you have to click everything. I did, um, I had a friend who used to make video games, and so every so often he would ask me to beta test them because I, um, unknown fact, if there is a way to break a system, I will accidentally find it. Uh, whatever the button combination or what, I have an uncanny ability of 
accidentally finding the correct combination to completely break something, and so he would have me beta test his games every so often. Except he <laughs> would get frustrated with me because I would do the little hoarders, like look around and click on everything and search everything, and I was convinced if there was a jar in the game, I could destroy it. And he'd be like, no, this is not those kind of games. Stop it. Just trust me on this. And I was like, nope, don't believe you. In one of these pots, there'll be something. Oh, this guy. You everything on the list. I'll get to work immediately. And of course, here is the reward I promised. We did it. That quest is hard just because of um you can accidentally glitch it. How are we at 40 gold? This game really wants you to have enough gold to get through um to do the quest. Oh my god. Okay, let's 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 stock up. Um Let's see what you got. Where I will... I think I actually want to go get... I like the restoration potions better, so maybe we'll go home and just order the potions that way. Oh, yep, yeah, to the Black Emporium. Actually, let's... Let's go check out the Black Emporium. Maybe we'll do that and, um... Because honestly, we're... Maybe hunt down a few more of these single quests? Because other than that, I think it's just the, um... Yeah, we got two more quests until we uh we are done with Act One. Oh, you are all named. Can I turn things in? Nope. Oh no, you were from an earlier quest. You're just you're just vibing. I shudder to think what the Night Commander will do when she learns of this Blood Mage's plot. Make some terrible decisions. I don't know what to say. I owe you everything. What those Blood Mages wanted to do to me. <sighs> I do feel bad for him. I'm surprised Colin didn't show him more mercy, considering how similar uh, with getting tortured by the blood mages are. Like his, like his ordeal is extremely similar to what happened to Colin. You think that Colin would have been, um, I don't know, more empathetic with him? I know that they really portray him as being. Uh, traumatized and easily fed into uh, Meredith's conspiracy theories because he himself is like you get the vibe that he's still extremely afraid from everything that happened in the first game at least that's my reading into it um, how everyone decides to look into it is valid until the writers tell us something explicitly so until then that's just the vibe I always got from it I don't know if I want to go hunt for those people because I don't know where they are. This game is very anti-mages. Kirkwall's got blood mage around every corner. They tried so hard to get you to hate blood to hate mages. Um, but even despite all that, it's still like the defense doesn't feel strong enough because every single blood mage you run into feels like, yeah, that feels justified. You had reasons for doing the shit that you did. <laughs> I don't, you know. I don't condone the actions, but you kind of got pushed to some shit. Okay, I forget where we were going. We were going to... Yeah, what is it? We did the herbalist task. Oh, we we're going to the Black Emporium. Duh. There we go. Small little dot in the bottom. I need to, like, write myself a to-do list on the side and try and keep track. You guys, this place is pretty cool, because it's like... Speaking of hoarding... Trying to get a good angle so you can see this guy, because he is just so creepy looking. He's got too many limbs! Don't mind. 
handle the urchin. <laughs> He's not for sale. Find your own. All right, this is. Some dame fellow asked, "Why make a shop so hard to find?" <laughs> Me, really? He just has no concept. Uh, this is if we want to change our appearance. Do not stare too intently at that. <laughs> On second thought. I forgot how slow he talks. He's got some good lines, but you'll be here for a while if you're going to sit here and listen to everything he has to say because it's a it's a lot okay we don't need any gear since that's hawk only that is a pretty good ring maybe we can sell some of our stuff and try and get that oh the maker sigh here we go we are going to need a couple of these because i feel like in the future i'm going to need to respect some people because i've made some choices Let's go ahead and go with five for now. We'll be optimistic. Well, six. No? Yep, six. That laugh is so creepy. <laughs> Here's the good stuff. All right, the arcane technique. Okay, so we get two attribute points for this one. And we get another spell and talent for that one. Otherwise, there's a bunch of poisons and grenades. Oh, we're definitely grabbing all the recipes. Because we need those for the achievement. Okay, if we can't find anything else, we'll get one of these guys. And just to solidify our rankings of not earning all that gold back. A lot of these are just lore dumps. Oh, we got some free gear. Take what you like. No charge. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, one no bonus charge, to um. You hear me? Uh, one bonus to collecting all the random lore bits, even if you're not reading it, is it does give a little bit of experience, so you can keep. Um, yep. See, someone else just dinged. I do love the golem design. It was so fun having a golem companion. Uh, Shale was the best. All right. Um, I think we already. Let's just. Here we go. And magnificent Zenon, the antiquarian. Oh. All manner of crafting. I think I want to get the extra spell talent and point. It probably technically makes more sense to get more attributes because, um,. Especially at this level, they'll probably boost you up a little bit, but I like the abilities. Uh, 
bottoms up. Alright, um, let's actually go ahead and level up really quick. Nope, back. Um, nope, that's journal. There we go. Now we have two points. All right, let's just finish up the forest tree. Or the elemental uh, tree. That one is fun. Okay, I think the only one we can get is here for now, if we want to keep trying to fill out the hole. And... Aveline. I don't think I did that right, but that's okay. Oh, immune to critical hits, yes. That would be nice. All right, I think I I think we have one more left in us. Let's let's save and let me pull up um, Princess Lady Bro. If you're still around, I may be yelling some help. Although I think the Act of Mercy are are big. And the most important thing for Act of Mercy is what choice you're going to make, since it is a Mage Templar decision. So that solidifies things in the story. And then. Um, also, once you pick your party, you're locked in. Um, uh, so unlike these other stories where they take you like around town, um, all of the big achievement decisions kind of happen in the same um, conversation. So we definitely got to take Carver because since... Uh... All right, uh, we are... Oh, I, it pains me to say, but we are siding with the Templars for this one. No, we're not helping the Blood Mages escape. We are turning them back into the Templars. Because um, that's going to give us the Carver points and give us the Templar point. Um, so... I feel like we can go with Carver, Fenris, Anders. Because both Carver and Fenris, we want friendship points. And Anders, we want the rival points. Does that seem like it makes sense? I'm just going to throw that in. Oh, no, get back in there. I know I may need to look at Carver or Anders setup to figure out. Oh, this shouldn't be a tough fight. That this one's mostly dialogue. Okay, let's let's confirm and actually let me look at this. Let me I have not messed with this too much, which I really do need to do. Oh, why is he ranged? No, no, no wonder Princess Lady Pro. Uh, wait, no, he is supporter. Controller, debilitator, custom. Here we go, healer. There we go. Great thinking. Um, you need to be. I think there's a passive one, which. Yeah, okay, that's what we want to do. And I do want to give you one. Um, if you yourself, if your health is... Mm, we'll go below 25%. Uh, use an item. Oh, I'm going to have to do these with each of the health potions? Damn. Um, let's do elf fruit. So I think that's the one that also bumps the mana. Um, save. Back. Oh no, that's the one that gets rid of injuries. Okay, we want to give him the restoration, so. Um. Ah! Yep. 
use item restoration yeah this game is really cool because of uh you're a really big tactics player which i haven't messed with it a whole lot in this playthrough i have before um usually takes a little bit of reading just to figure out how i want to set it up uh, but yeah, you can describe their behavior, like if they're passive or if they're aggressive, if they see enemies or how they react. Um, you can tell them when their health reaches a certain point or if another character puts a condition on another character, you can then do another move to get those combos up and going. Um, you can do moves if you're surrounded or if you have enemies close to you and how many of those enemies. It's, uh, it's, it's fun. It's another aspect of the game if you like that more um like tactic training kind of side or if you um don't like to control all four members and you like to pretty much control the one member then that's a good way to kind of get those other players up and going and keep them useful um uh, we're gonna keep bumping it his health's been mm. yeah i'm sticking with it his health health has been okay and we're going to finish his two-hander tree, which is the unofficial carver tree. All right. Uh, yeah. Two of strength and... I'm going to get his constitution up to 20-ish, and then we'll put more into his stamina. Um, oh! There we go. We got enough friendship points where we unlocked his passive ability. So his magic resistance is up. Heck yeah! We're just gonna fill out the rest of this two-hander tree too. Illyrium Ghost is a badass. I am. I'm gonna put the points into that um, once he gets a few more levels. Um, you know, uh, really quick, I'm gonna give these guys the tactics too of when their health gets low. Uh, not restoration. Wait, no. I don't want you to do an action. I want you... I messed up. Discard. Tactics. Self. Your health is below 25%. Oh, I see why I messed up. Use an item. You use the elf root. And then same thing. This is why I've been meaning to do this off camera. I just haven't had time to do it. This is thrilling streaming quality right here. Although if you've never done this before and you didn't know this feature um, existed and you want to try something new. Oh no, not the elf fruit. Use the item. No, oh, yeah, elf fruit. Back. Safe. All right, we're just going to go um, make some more elf root potions really quick, uh, which we're just going to go home because that's right there. Oh, I guess we could have gone to Low Town because uh, Elegant is right there, but that's fine. It's too late. We're already here. Uh, order potions. Come on. There we go. Okay, we gotta grab some of these before we go into the uh, deep roads. 10% versus the dark spawn for 30 minutes, and it's called the Elixir of Purity. Okay, let's grab. Come on. Order. Oh, I gotta do these. We're just taking care of that gold problem right away okay so carver anders who's my third fenris got him okay we're committing we're going Two mages and two warriors. Uh, here we go, Plastic Ghost. We got your ideal party set up. <laughs> oh, what's gonna... Lizards! I'll deal with this. We found our dragons! Get back. Oh, 
Oh, don't hit me. This is a good sign. We found our dragons. Did the... That was a weird spawn, but okay. Oh, more spawn. They're just... They're coming. Oh, fire magic. Probably it's not a great idea with these guys. Entirely sure what that move did. I thought it was supposed to knock him to the ground. Maybe we have to upgrade it first. I guess the dragons ate everything of value off of him that only a. I don't remember where the junk was. It wasn't trousers though. So there's that at least. If this map looks familiar, it's because it is. We have done this map before, although we've come from the other side. <laughs> Ooh, pile of bones. We will take that nine silver. really is like a bandit and dragon crime going on because you just find corpses everywhere and I think this was the route where Aveline was like oh the, the patrols aren't that bad it's an easy patrol corpses corpses everywhere <laughs> what's a bad patrol look like Aveline Okay, by process of elimination, it's this loop. Which I'm gonna laugh my ass off if there's a dragon around the corner or something. Oh, Thrask, it's our buddy! Like the one Templar in the Order who's not a dick. Um, this is the, um, the Templar that we found the note that his daughter was a mage and was trying to escape and we didn't blackmail him. We're, just, we're gonna save because I feel like we're gonna screw this up. Let's go. Mistress Hawk. So much for not attracting Templar attention. Yeah, first name Fain basis. Wheel speaks well of how you treated him before you brought him to us. I thought perhaps you would be willing to show mages a kindness once more. Okay, this is just funny considering I was just explaining who he was to you. <laughs> um. Will be nice. Can I get the details before I agree? There are a number of apostates hiding in those caverns. We are not going to kill apostates for you. I was hoping you might speak to the group, convince them to surrender peacefully before my fellow Templars arrive. Who are these apostates? Where did they come from? These are the mages of the former circle at Starkhaven. It burned to the ground, and their Templar sent for us to relocate the survivors. Unfortunately, they escaped on the journey. With their phylacteries burned, it has been nearly impossible to track them. What's a phylactery? When a mage joins the circle, the first enchanter takes a sample of his blood. It is used as a focus to track the mage should he escape. Oh, it's kind of like cruel that they make the head mage of the circle take the blood to make the phylacteries. I understand that. Well, don't don't the tranquil make the phylacteries? I mean, it makes sense you need a high end magic user, but oh, that's that's cruel. Be making mages um, helping track other mages. Do the other Templars intend to do worse than we capture the mages? 
Sir Caras is a knight lieutenant of the Templars, a great crony of Meredith. Should he find apostates hiding from pursuit, Meredith will consider him justified in murdering the lot of them. All right, Caras is a name we're going to hear, and that's an ass that I will look forward to stabbing when we get the opportunity to. Who's Meredith? <laughs> you have clearly not been in Kirkwall long. <laughs> Meredith is Knight Commander. She has changed the rules for mages in Kirkwall. They are less free than elsewhere. Though I dare say she has created as much dissent as obedience. I'm inclined to help, but um, anything good from the second option there, Sarah? <laughs> or is that gonna piss somebody off? Okay. I'm going for it. I'm tempted. I want to know what she says. If you've got this many mages escaping, you Templars aren't too good at your jobs. <laughs> These mages have shown they attack Templars on sight. You have a better chance than I to convince them they are better off alive in the circle than free and dead. Sir Karas hunts them as well. If they have not surrendered by the time he arrives, this will be a bloodbath. Okay, so I feel we just automatically accepted that. Check the caverns. My fellow Templars could arrive at any moment. Okay, I, I don't know if we just missed any opportunity for up. I don't think we got there's any available for Carver there, so that's fine. That's our that's our main. It's actually speaking of Carver, buddy, brother. Oh, that was. Why did you set it off over there? Oh shit! That's not good. That's bad. That's very very bad. I think only Bethany is caught in the middle of it. Who else is up there? Nope. Andrews is on the side. Okay, these guys are distracted by distraction in the corner. All right. Bethany. Oh. Fail. That that was fail. <laughs> okay, we're going to go for that. We're going to. Oh, no. Fenris, stay out of there. Want to keep him off his feet because the longer you can stun lock a caster, the quicker they go down. They raise the bloody dead. Yeah, they she didn't have a chance. Desperate. Mages will always resort to the forbidden if they feel enough need. Please tell me we're not going to force these poor fools back into the circle. They're doing blood magic, Anders. They just dropped a blood AoE on top of us for entering in the cavern. That's true, they wouldn't be doing it if the Templars aren't the worst. Ah, this is... I'm gonna hold the door. Come on. Let's finish this. Go down. That was quick. 
<laughs> ask before you attack. I really thought that guy running out here was going to do a dialogue or something. The, the fact that he uh, came running out and you couldn't really toggle him or anything. But it was interesting that um, you got to see him raise the dead before uh, you could interact with them of any sort. Frustrating because you can't change the outcome, but sometimes, you know, you can not change the outcome anyway. Some things are just set in motion and you just gotta respond. Oh boy, these maps. All right, where's the red? All the way over there. Why did I start with her? It's fine. Blurring them in for you, boys. down here in this this tomb are you with the templars please i need to go back to the circle i never wanted to get involved in this not when he started making those those things who is he decimus it was his decision he kept saying the Templars would label us blood mages if we fled. Why not use it if it's our best tool? Typical excuse. He slit his wrist and the magic... It rose from the blood and woke the skeletons in the cave. I ran. Decimus is wrong. Blood magic is a work of evil, not just a power the Templars keep from us for spite. Decimus is the leader of these mages. He's crazy. He said with our phylacteries gone, no one could find us. We would be free. I think maybe he set the fire. There must be a demon working through him. No normal man would profane the dead like this. Alright, ultimately we are going to end with telling them to turn themselves into the circle. I don't know if she feels that. Am I going to get any positive points for if I say, um, is there anything with the, um, Elaine dialogue? Only last option results in response. Okay. We'll keep, we'll keep up the blue. Unless it's not Carver, is it? Mm, we do like the rivalry with Anders, but no, it doesn't feel right for her right now. We'll we'll stick with the um, keep up the diplomatic. The Templar Thrask is waiting outside. Surrender to him, and you won't be hurt. I surrender. Take me to the Templars. I don't want anything to do with this blood magic. The rest of them, they're still following Decimus. He's gone mad. I think he'd kill us all just to take the Templars down. Oof. Uh, thank you, Princess Lady Bro. Oh no. There we go. Come on. Who's last? Okay, Anders, you're leading. Ooh, can we get Lyrium Ghost now? Bump up his stamina pool. Let's go. Alright, let's just check out all the nooks and crannies down here. Hello! We found a resource. And seriously, all the raw lyrium looks like the blood lyrium, which isn't that the bad lyrium. Resource! That is, in fact, a dead end, despite this fact that it looks like a trail.
You know, I've never actually looked up before. Holy cow. This would be a really cool place to explore. I know we kind of have some similar in Inquisition. Um, I forget which map, but it had like a mining area that was under the Templar control. Oh, why am I going first with Bethany? Oh, let's bump up. Magic, magic. Um... His con's been doing okay, but let's give him some more stamina. And... Yeah, it feels like it's a nod to the, uh, the red lyrium actively growing in the world. Yeah, I think you're right there, Princess Lady Bro. Especially um, considering this is kind of the intro for it. Oh, that looks bad. He's glowing. He's glowing. That's not good. Um, I don't think we've done any big dialogue choices that would shoot us in the foot. Yeah, let's let's save. Hmm, Fenris, buddy. Have fun. Nope. They're here. The Templars have come to take us back to the Circle. Decimus, no. Stay your hand. These are no Templars. What do I care what shield they carry? If they challenge us, the dead themselves will meet the call. Trap. It's a trap. Gonna bring up the temperature a bit. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Bad, bad, bad. Oh, shit, that's painful. Um, I don't think I need 80%. But we'll take it. Okay, that was cool looking. Uh, shit, who's in the AOE? Okay, you should be out of it. Start hitting down these apostates. Anders, you're okay. Uh, take a health potion, buddy. Why don't I have these on your bar? Actually, you should be in panacea mode anyway. And, oh, Fenris, get out of there. Oh, wow, she's already down. Yeah, we're gonna have to redo this. And you can't even take a health potion yet, so. Okay, there we go. Focus in on him. Anders. What's going on with you, buddy? Okay. Heal yourself. Or die. That's that's fine. Okay. This is not going well. some more stuns. This is going to be a white, but we're going to try. Okay, so while he's gone, do that. Uh, Carver, can you get a health potion yet? We want you to have the... Come on. 
restoration down here. Take out him quick. Action now. Fenris, you go take out him while Carver is full health. You go for that one. Okay. We may actually get this. You killed him. Oh, Decimus. You should have listened to me. Oh, I saw what you are. How could you murder one of your own just for daring to defy the Templars? He was trying to kill me! <laughs> Think she would have any sort of sympathy. He attacked me. You think he brought those skeletons to life to serve me tea? I warned him. I told him once he marked himself as a blood mage, that was all anyone would see. Are we supposed to believe that you had no part in his actions? I swear to you, I have had no truck with demons. Please, we only want our freedom. Without your help, the Templars will execute us all for Decimus's crimes. Templars hate me anyway. <laughs> Tempted. Um. If not in the circle, how do you intend to live? I hear there are places outside the pre-marches where the Templars are not so vigilant. Oh, this one's tricky. You followed him. You should all face punishment. If you harsh. try to turn us in, do not think your own talents will go unremarked. Do not doubt that the Templars will let an extra apostate share our punishment. Threatening to turn me in really doesn't help your all mages stick together image. These are blood mages. Not like you or Bethany. And what do you think happens if we start killing Templars? Will you buy us time to flee Kirkwall? She wants us to kill Thrask! What the hell? He's like the one good Templar left in Kirkwall. If there's any Templar you have a beef with, that's your sign. Oh my gosh. All right, I think I gotta go. Yeah, I, I gotta go with. Thrask is a good man. It is no more right for him to die than you. Then lay down your arms. I am trying to save our lives, not throw them away. We will come with you. I'll make sure the way out is clear. Hey! Thank you, Princess Lady Bro. We haven't gotten some friendly Fenris points in a while. We need to start taking him out more. That was interesting. That's a couple new dialogue things I don't think I've ever heard before. Um, taking Anders and Carver was a good pick. Oh, that hurt. That beatdown hurt. I am coming peacefully. What more do you want? I 
just want to get out of here alive. Right, we're just looting the place before we go. I mean, if you guys want a head start, we're not going to stop you. Who else did you kill up here? <gasps> no! We have no rogue! No! <sighs> this is why... You always play rogue, folks. We had that whole fight and I didn't summon the dog. It's okay, buddy. You probably would have gotten ousted in the AoE, too. We are going to, um... Give injury kits around, though. I don't think we gotta fight anything on the way out, but just in case. I don't remember what penalties you get for being injured. I think it's like a decrease to your, um, like your mana and your stamina and stuff like that. Which sucks. Oh god! I looked away! <laughs> Shit! Um, okay. Decimus is handy. Ooh, I think I like staggered all of them. Okay, we, we definitely gotta get tactics up because if she can do that to that many of them, and then if the warriors do whatever their abilities that correspond with it, that could be a lot of fun. All right, tell Grace to go with Karas at the end. Okay, thank you. I know we already scouted up here, but just in case something has snuck up here without us realizing it. Oh, I'm stuck. That's not, there we go. Wiggle. And... Ooh. We almost forgot this nook. How could we call ourselves adventurers if we had left that four silver down in this cave? Nope, that's where we found the lyrium. We go up. Anything else is Fenris for our- okay, we do not want that. We need more Fenris uh, friend points. I think this is the first time I'm like not optioning to just kill Karas right away because he is he's not a good guy oh boy okay oh, they are not grouping up okay fine we'll go big Valerian Ghost is so cool! Yeah, like, the Lyrium Ghost is Fenris's ability where he activates all of the Lyrium in his body, and I think technically it's supposed to, like, just make his tattoos pop really big, but of course, in video game style, he just lights up like a goddamn firework. <laughs> Princess Lady Road chiming in with It's Sexy. Okay, we're just gonna... We're gonna save. Um... I feel we've made good choices. We haven't fucked up yet. So we're gonna go ahead and stick with the same save. Oh, we can phase through bodies? Shit! I didn't realize that. That's really cool. Okay. We got this. No fuck-ups. Are you saying there isn't anyone inside? Then where did that apprentice come from? I followed the tracks from the caravan site. 
but the boy says the others already left. Don't lie, Thrask. I know you're soft on the robes. I followed the same tracks and... What do we have here? The Blood Mage is dead. These mages willingly return to the Circle. The Circle? As if we would let these demon worshippers pollute the minds of our mages. Don't like him. No. Once they have tasted freedom, apostates are good for nothing. Better to silence them now. No! And do you wonder why we fear them? Please, you must protect us. feel this is escalating um I refuse to help grace tell grace to go with Karas. um So what? The, do you think I need to tell them that the mages are yours? Because it feels like they're just going to kill them. All right, we saved beforehand, so let's try this. A trial. They're mages. They ran. Done. To start, I will kill you. The circle is a sanctuary, not a prison. If you kill these people, I will see you disciplined by the divine herself. Hey, Thras for the My win. Commander says no rebel robes get to preach to the tame ones. Are you truly going to send us off with this monster? I feel awful about this. The circle is still safer than life on the run. Thrask will make sure no one hurts you. Then we truly have no hope. Mm. You seem a decent man, Templar. I must place the lives of all these people in your hands. That hurt, Don't count yeah. You being around long enough to help you, sunshine. I will do all I can. I swear you this. That didn't feel good. I know that Karas guy gets so much worse in the second act, which is why I usually just, you know, you, you have so few options in this first one that don't feel right leaving. You almost always come to combat or tricking him into leaving. But if he survives, like, he just becomes an even bigger monster in the second act, so you feel awful for not taking care of him in the first. Then you feel better about killing him later because it's without a doubt he is, like, 100% an asshole. Like, you feel kind of bad, like, initially meeting her in the cave because you're like, ah, you're just asking me to murder this one dude. And then you figure out, oh, no, nope, he's an ass. He's, he's 100% a sadistic ass. Ugh. If we get this right, we won't have to do the, the Templar Mage split. Like, we're just, we're going for the split so we can get both the endings. But I think that is everything... I think we got all the resources that we can get from here. If not, I think we can return to this map. I hope, because we just left. Um, I feel like it's already done, but let's just go see if we can chat with anyone in the gallows. Let's see if that got resolved at all. You know, Fenris, I have a tattoo. You have a what? A tattoo. A lot of us got them before Ostagar. It's a Mabari, for strength. Does it curse you with the ability to reach into a man and tear out his insides? Uh, I can make it bark. Please don't. Yes, refrain. <sighs> <laughs> I didn't realize Andrews chimes in on that one. <laughs> Oh, poor Carver. So weird. Someone killed a dozen of our best men in the Chantry itself. Are the people here animals? Now we must seek out new recruits. Couldn't have been us. <laughs> Although, to be fair, which quest was that one? Because there was quite a few where we were having to uh, kill Templars in the Chantry. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I owe you everything. But those blood mages 
Jesus wanted to do to me. <sighs> Ugh, I do feel bad for him. Commend you for your aid in apprehending those apostates. I don't want his. Perhaps they will find peace now. I don't think those mages are finding peace. You are bizarre. I can't believe you got Grace to turn herself in. Starkhaven was never like this. The Templars beat us and no one says a thing. <laughs> the Templars won't let me send mail out. I found a letter to my parents that they burned in the furnace. God, that's awful. See, it's like stuff like that that you don't learn if you let them escape. Like, you don't get these little dialogue things, but you have to make the terrible choice in order to get kind of the more... additional details, which sucks. The Starkhaven mages are here without bloodshed. I wish it felt like more of a victory. Meredith ordered three Starkhaven mages executed at random to teach them a lesson. I'm afraid they've learned all too well. Yep, we just radicalized a bunch of mages. Wow. Okay, that feels worse now. Shit. You should have killed us in those caverns. Yep. Well, on that kind of sour note. I think we're gonna call it. So we got our second, um, we got our second Templar point in. So our, our bracket is one mage, mage point, two Templar. Um, you can only get three in this first act and there's only one in the second act and that's gonna go into mage. So that'll bring us an even scoreboard going into act three. Um, oh, anyone else see this face in this pattern over here? Hold on, sorry to get distracted. Anyone else see that? Kind of looks like a, it looks like a face with a beard and like a mohawk. He's got like a crazy collar. All right, that distraction aside, uh, thank you everyone for coming. We are almost so close done with act one. I think we just have the first sacrifice, which what a downer to end on that one. Uh, we need to space these out better so we don't have all the downer quests at the end. But thank you, um, Prince Ladybro for all your help. I appreciate it. Thank you for coming out, Old Slow Tiger. Um, Thank you, everyone in the chat for hanging out. Um, oh, I think Swole Initiative is on. If everyone wants to do some D and D, let's see if they're still going. Um, yep, yeah, they're still going. How long have they been going for? Yeah, I think they'll be around for a little bit longer. So let's go raid them. They always have some fun stuff. All right, but the problem is, is can I spell it? First try! All right, thank you all for coming. Uh, please come back on Friday, hopefully doing this again, finishing up first act. And otherwise, uh, come back for Laurel Wind and Darkness Rising next week. But good night, everyone! <laughs>